Hi guys, so here is uh, what I'm working on today. I'm super excited. This was what I found at the thrift store to be one of the ugliest items they had. It's very rusty. The inside is stinky. Um, it totally needs to be redone and I'm super excited to make it into something beautiful. So as you can see, like the top is in really rough shape. Um, it's rusty. The metal parts are rusty and um, like the bottom looks like it has paint on it. So I'm really excited to be working on this today for today's video. So I cleaned off the chest just with um, some soap and water on the outside and I'm gonna start off by painting it. I am using the Rust-Oleum Country Gray to paint the, the chest and um, I will have to do two coats of this paint because um, just the blue still would come through. So I taped off some of the wood parts. I was going to tape off the metal parts as well, but then I decided not to. Then I decided I was going to go a different way. So as with any of the paint, when you're painting um, any pieces with chalk paint, you want to make sure you're going in all sorts of directions and um, you're doing lighter coats so you're not caking on the paint. You don't have to sand anything down and you don't have to do really any prep work other than just cleaning it up. So it's super easy to work with chalk paint and um, the results are just amazing. So I'm Vesna. If you haven't been to my channel, welcome. Um, in my channel, you can find all sorts of DIYs, thrift, thrift flips, trash to treasure, upcycling, crafts, um, any kind of home decor pieces. I create them. I really love doing that. I love painting furniture, so you'll see furniture flips as well. So if that's the kind of thing you like, please stick around and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. So once this dries, I'm going to go ahead and apply the Annie Sloan Black Wax. And the reason I'm applying it without a, uh, putting clear wax first is I want a really dramatic effect. Um, and I also want to stain this wood as well. So when you're applying the wax, it's the same idea as with the paint. You want to make sure that you're going in all sorts of directions, not just in one. And then you apply it and wipe it off and apply it and wipe it off. Um, depending on how much you want to stay there, like how much of a stain you want. So unfortunately I didn't record this, but after I applied the black wax, I thought it was a little bit too black. Um, so I applied the Annie Sloan dark wax as well, which I thought I might do because I always like the combination of the two waxes together. So, um, that's what you'll see at the end result of the video. I have a little bit of the recording, but my uh, camera shut off and I didn't notice, so I apologize. And this video is a part of a challenge. It's the ugly, Upcycling Ugly Thrift Challenge, and um, it is hosted by every month by Simple, Pretty Simple Sherry. And it's a super cool challenge where we have to take something, like one of the ugliest things from the thrift store, and turn it into something beautiful. She ho she always has a co-host, and her co-host this month is Lisa from Lisa and Company. Now Lisa is also super talented, like Sherry. They're both they both have have really amazing channels. So make sure you check out both of their channels. I'm gonna have um, their channel links in my description below. You won't be uh, you won't regret checking out their channels because they're super creative and super fun to watch. Um, 
I'll also have the playlist linked below because there's going to be some amazing videos that you don't want to miss. So everything will be linked in my description box. After I apply the waxes, I go ahead and I apply Duck Egg Blue from Annie Sloan. And I'm just doing it on the metal parts, as you can see here. I've already done a little bit at the top. And then I go ahead and I put this um, gilding copper, so liquid copper, liquid gilding copper from Martha Stewart. It's from Michaels. And I put it over top. So what I'm trying to achieve is kind of like the, um, the, aged copper kind of copper that's tarnishing a little bit that's what I'm trying to achieve I really love that look so if you've watched any of my um, metal painting videos or anything like that I like to always have that in there um, I'll link like my spoons up top so you can see what I'm talking my spoon and fork up top the video so you can see what I'm talking about if you wanted to check it out with the liquid copper you just want to be careful that you dab like you you dip it in a little bit and then you dab off um, on like a piece of paper or something so that you don't have too much on um, otherwise it'll be pretty dark unless that's a look what you're going for but what I did was I dabbed off a little bit so that I could just have a light coating going going over top of the copper so to achieve the look I wanted I just kept on applying and reapplying the gilding copper and the duck egg blue so I got rained out and I had to bring the trunk inside but then I brought it outside just to make sure that I got all of the colors that I wanted. Um, I just wanted it in natural light because the basement get, tends to get a little bit dark. So here's the finished piece. I'm so happy with the way it turned out. I love the stain of the wood. I love um, how the little how the copper came out. I love everything about this. Um, it'll be used as a coffee table in my family room downstairs in the basement. And It'll look wonderful and inside I'll store blankets and I'm so happy with them. I'm incredibly excited that I found it and it was so cheap that I couldn't not get it even though it was so ugly. So I think I nailed it. I think I made it beautiful again. Um, let me know what you guys think. Make sure you check out the two hosts and make sure you check out the playlist and also check out these videos that I'm mentioning at the end here. Thanks for stopping by. Have an excellent day and stay safe.